The first step in taking a mandibular central incisor periapical is to get the radiology unit ready for your patient. You start by grabbing a Dixie cup that has size 1 film from Kathy or Karen. A cassette with the XCP instruments you will need. A few sets of gloves. Rubber bands. Cotton roll. And a tab if you prefer using them. Next, place two blue napkins on the countertop of the radiology unit you'll be using. These should be located on the countertop next to the computer monitor. These napkins are, are where you will lay out your XCP instruments and film. Once you lay out the napkins, you'll want to cover the exposure button with barrier film, which can be found under the button on the countertop. After the exposure button is covered, you'll bag the patient chairs. Bags can be found in the drawer below the countertop. While bagging the chair, make sure that the x-ray unit is turned on to the, and the correct settings are selected for the radiographs you will be taking. Also, it is important to make sure there is a thyroid collar in your unit because these must be worn by every patient while they are being exposed to x-rays. Once everything has been covered and the thyroid collar is put on your patient, you will want to glove up and start assembling your XCP instruments and laying out your film the way that they will be used. Can I be on TV? Riley, do you want to be on TV? No? Now that you have gloves on, you can place the film out on blue on the blue napkin in the order you will want to use them. Since we are only doing one periapical today, it is not that important, but when you are taking a complete mouse series, it will help you to know what films you have taken and what still need to be done. After all the film is out of the Dixie cup, you will want to set the cup off the blue napkin and out of the way, making sure only to touch it with ungloved hands while taking radiographs. Next, open the cassette on the blue napkin and locate the XCP instruments you will need. We will be using the rod that is the straightest and attaching the blue bite block along with the blue circle apparatus to the rod. If you do not have a blue circle apparatus, then it is the one that is not off-centered. Before connecting the rod to the, to the bite block, you will want to attach a cotton roll to the side of the bite block opposing the mandible by using a rubber band. This aids the patient in biting down on the bite block. You like the Chiefs, huh? Chiefs and the Packers? Once the cotton roll is in place, you can attach the bite block to the rod, and then slide the circle right. apparatus onto the rod That's so that the right. bite block is centered when you are looking through the circle. I'm learning a lot. Madison? Let's go take it. We gotta take another x ray. This is 361. The last thing we need to do before we can take the radiograph is to place the film in the bite block. When doing this, you may use tabs which aid in keeping the film from moving around. After the tab is on the film, you will want to place it in the bite block with the X side touching the bite block and the black side facing you when looking through the circle apparatus. Another common step taken is to make sure that the A on the X side is on the occlusal surface of the radiograph, 
which helps you when you're monitoring, monitor, mounting. To accomplish this, the A should always be on the edge of the film that is clipped into the bite block. Now that we have the, our, our XCP instrument and film assembled, we can proceed to take the radiograph. When positioning the XCP in the patient's mouth for a mandibular central incisor periapical, you want the end of the bite block, not attached to the rod, to be pointing down into the floor of the patient's mouth and the rod coming out of the patient's mouth. Make sure to center the bite block behind the patient's mandibular central incisors, resting the portion of the bite block attached to the rod on the incisal surface. Once you have the correct positioning, instruct the patient to bite down. Now slide the circle apparatus as close as possible to the patient's mouth. Next, line the x-ray unit up with the notches in the circle apparatus. We will be using the vertical notches for this periapical, so we need to adjust the pin into a vertical orientation so it can fit into the correct set of notches. To make sure that the contact between the central incisors is open, we want to position the x-ray unit with a horizontal angle of 0 degrees and a vertical angle of negative 15 to negative 20 degrees. We can accomplish this by making sure that the PID and the x-ray beam are parallel to each other. When the XCP and the x-ray unit are in position, leave the room and press the exposure button. patient has been exposed, move the x-ray unit off to the side and remove the XCP and film from their mouth. Using a tissue, remove the film from the bite block and wipe it off. Now that the film is dry, place it in the Dixie cup, making sure not to touch the cup. Mm -hmm. Also make sure to remove the tabs if you have used them. The film can now be developed and evaluated. If the radiograph is acceptable, you will instruct your patient to wait in the blue chairs while you clean up your unit.